Week 2 previews and analysis, rolling right along here on the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. This video is for the game between the New Orleans Saints and the Cleveland Browns. This game will take place in Cleveland, both teams 0-1 both losing divisional matchups in Week 1. You had uh, Cleveland losing on the road to Pittsburgh, and you had Atlanta uh, sorry, Atlanta actually topping New Orleans. Um, New Orleans opening the two games here on the road to start the season. And we start with the Saints. Look, the Saints offense, I didn't leave last week thinking, well, what happened to the Saints offense? I mean, they put up 34 points. The Saints defense, obviously a little bit more of a concern when you look at Matt Ryan uh, setting a franchise record for yards. And to me, most notably, when you look at this defense not getting pressure on the quarterback last week, that's going to be a big point of emphasis, I have a feeling, for Rob Ryan in that defense this week. I'm not totally down, okay, on the Saints defense. I don't leave last week saying, well, everything they accomplished last year is out the window. This is a defense that's going to have some trouble. I think they're going to, you know, recommit to getting after the quarterback. I thought, you know, the playmakers for Atlanta maybe scared uh, those safeties for the Saints into playing deeper um, than they should have consistently last week. Uh, if you look, Matt Ryan beat them with a lot of underneath throws um, in, in this game versus Cleveland. Obviously, those Saints, Vaccaro and Jairus Bird, they don't have to worry about you know elite playmakers for, for the Browns getting behind them. So what I think that will lead to is them being a lot more aggressive, both from a safety and a cornerback perspective, and really putting pressure on Brian Hoyer and company. Uh, I think you're going to see some exotic blitz, blitzes, dialed up by Rob Ryan. So in turn, that Cleveland Browns offensive line, I think is going to need to have a stellar game. I think they're going to need to have a stellar game from a uh, picking up blitz perspective and also from a running game perspective. I thought, you know, I thought Terrence West had a better game than I expected last week against Pittsburgh. Now with Ben Tate out here for at least a couple weeks with an injury, how did Terrence West and obviously Isaiah Crowell, how do they step into the role of having more of a main role here um, against a team like the Saints. Um, are, you know, are Crowell and Terrence West able to be good at, even in pass protection uh, when they have to pick up that extra rusher that's coming at quarterback Brian Hoyer? Because, again, you know, I don't look for the Browns to be able to really put the pressure on that Saints secondary like the Falcons did. So that'll be something to monitor there. The, the Browns' defense, on the other hand, I was surprised at how easy it was for Pittsburgh to move the ball up and down the field um, on the Browns. To me, that'd be a cause for concern because you have the Saints coming in, who I think have a, a tick better of an offense than certainly the Steelers do. The Steelers were able to run the ball and throw the ball um, on the Browns, and something I think the Saints are very capable of doing. Their, their trio of running backs, to me, really turned a corner last year in the playoffs, as I've mentioned several times on this channel. I think they have the ability to be physical and run the ball now. I think you'll see that this week to obviously set up um, their aerial attack, which is one of, if not the best, in the league. As far as this game in particular goes with the weather, I'd be more concerned if I was um, New Orleans playing this game later in the year in Cleveland, but I think they catch a little bit of a break playing earlier in the season. I find it hard to believe a team like the Saints, who has true to me Super Bowl aspirations. I think still think, despite the play of their defense in Week 1, they're more the well, one, of, one of the more well-balanced teams in the league. I think they. I don't think they go 0 2 here. I think they go into Cleveland and spoil the the opener of Mike Pettin at home. I like New Orleans minus six and a half in this game because I think when push comes to shove, Cleveland doesn't have the weapons uh, to match up from a downfield passing perspective uh, with the Saints. And I think that Saints front seven gets after Brian Hoyer in a big way. Guys, let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter as well. Be sure to subscribe previewing every game every week, always talking the news of the day in the NFL. Thanks as always. Have a good day.